Yo, what's going on guys, I'm back for another video and today I am back on Mythical PS. It has been quite a while since I have been on the server and I'll be showcasing some of the latest updates but before we get into that, I just want to announce a really big $100 giveaway on today's video. As you can see, I got $250 bonds. These will go to two different winners. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on the notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name. The winners will be announced in my community discord, in the server's discord and on my pinned comments the links of the discords are down below in the description. Today's video has been sponsored by RuneAd. RuneAd is a brand new RSPS voting platform with over 100,000 page requests in the first month. With that, they already accumulated thousands of votes from 20 servers and they are growing extremely fast. Make sure to check them out and to get voting and add your server today. Once again, a massive thank you to RuneAd for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, with that, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so the first thing we are going to showcase is Goku. As you can see, an event was just announced that Goku has found. So you can go to teleport to Goku and then go ahead and finish him off. Um, of course, use Soul Split uh, and whatever you need to stay alive. Anyways, if you can check out the drops, I have actually no idea what it can drop. So um, yeah, I'll check that out in a second as well. Alright, so here we go, it should die in a second. I don't know if everyone gets loot, but um, there we go. I just got a $25 bond, as you can see, I actually got super lucky on that, so that is pretty sick. But the best drops that you can get are the Goku's head and the Goku's hand. As you can see, they give quite a lot of drop rate bonus as well. They also have pretty decent stats, um, but anyways, the owner is actually spawning in a few, so maybe I can get lucky as well in this time. Alright, so here we go, second kill should be coming in right now, can we get back to back, that would be so amazing, no we cannot, we just got a dragon warhammer, which is still a pretty decent drop, but basically how this works is the top 10 most damage dealers actually get loot, and then of course the Goku's head and our hands are the best drops that you can get. And for the third kill, we just got ourselves a minigun. No more rare drops have been announced. I think there will be one more Goku that we will be fighting off before um, I move on to the next thing. But hopefully we can get some really good drop on the uh, last one. Alright, there we go. It should die once again just in a second. There we go. And let's see what the loot will be this time around. Oh, we just got ourselves a tax bag box, which is nothing too special, but that is still 500 tax bags, which isn't too bad. As you can see, the hands and the head are actually pretty decent stats. The gloves are actually a tribrid um, glove slot, so that is actually pretty sick as well. And then there we go for the final kill in a second. It should be dead. There we go. Let's see. Come on, give us another good drop. That would be really cool. Oh, we just got an American Tour of a Full Helm. Nothing too special. So yeah, the $25 bond was actually a really nice reward. Someone just got a $10 bond, so congrats to them as well. Anyways, there are also quite a few other things that I will be showcasing. For example, the May Mystery Boxes. Uh, as you can see, the May Mystery Boxes, of course, it is May just started as well. So these boxes are in the donation store. They actually have quite a lot of really good loot. I managed to check it out. It is also on the latest forum update topic. But anyways, the May box actually include 5 store mystery boxes that loot 20 OP keys. You can even get two $50 bonds, which is $100 in total from one box. Absolutely amazing. You can also get a double drop rate ring, a jester hat, a jester scarf, a dwarf cannon damage increase, which has a 400% damage output. It's basically um, pretty sick, actually. It just um, quadruples your damage that you will do with a dwarf um, cannon. Uh, you can also get a Book of May, which is the best in slot offhand for magic, with a 25% drop rate bonus, a Dragonfire Ward, which is the best offhand for range, with a 25% uh, drop rate bonus, and then, the, of course, the Averning Defender as well, uh, also with a 25% drop rate bonus. Anyways, I got 28 of these, so let's see if we can get lucky. And, of course, from our first one, we got a Dragonfire Ward, then we got 20 insanely OP keys, and then we got an Avernic Defender, pretty sick, we still got quite a few to go, another Dragonfire Ward, one more, here we go, the Dwarf Cannon damage increase, then if you use this, um, your Dwarf Cannon will now do 400% damage, as I mentioned earlier, so um, yeah, there, Storm Mystery Boxes as a loot, we also got a Double Drop Rate Ring as a loot, more Storm Mystery Boxes, let's just go ahead, oh, the Mayo Book, which is the best in slot for magic, so basically got a lot of best in slots for um, basically anything. You also got the Jester Hat right there and then another um, double drop ring together with some more books uh, and some other things as you can see. Let's use these. Um, oh, you can also only use one of these. So yeah, 
if you get more you can just sell it anyways i was really hoping for that double 50 dollar bomb that would be insane but we did manage to get 20 more of these stored mystery boxes by the way these can also give 50 dollar bonds these can give quite a lot of stuff i will not go over all of that but anyways let's go ahead and open some of these see if we can get some really lucky rewards um and oh there we go there we go, that's a $50 bond straight away. Also got an infinite uh, freaking overload, a mythical longsword, which is really good. Another pet mystery box as well, which gave us a pet scroll, Sutra. We also just got an unlimited prayer scroll. Uh, and then we have a lit sword, rainbow minigun, rainbow max cape as well. These look pretty sick. We just got a full Orea Torvo set, an animal bow, ring of devotion, and some other really cool things that we can get. Mythical warhammer in there as well. Ring of devotion with a 75% drop rate boost which is basically an upgrade from the regular one anyway so let's go ahead and open up the last 30 of these chests and see if we can get any more luck that would be pretty sick so there we go we just opened up an other inventory of these as well just got myself another infernal mystery box got uh, five su uh, six supreme mystery boxes as well couldn't open all of them because i don't have enough inventory space some more really cool rewards in here, also some tag bag boxes, a $50 bond as well in their rainbow party hat and then a mythical supreme crossbow which is also a really good weapon to get with a dark lord cape and some other really cool stuff. So yeah, we are getting some, uh, some really good loot from these chests. And then of course for the last 7, oh we did actually manage to get quite lucky to get ourselves another $25 bond as well, also got a pet, play, uh, a pet baby blue dragon health flyer sword and shield which are pretty OP. Um, and then some other things that you can, uh, that we got as well, like collector necklace, another unlimited prayer scroll. So yeah, that's pretty sick. Now, as you can see in my bank, I got quite some interesting things in here as well. I got Vader chests and Champion chests, which you can get from the Champions and Vaders. Vaders is actually one of the new bosses in game. You do need quite a lot of tags bags to actually go to there. I think it is 2,500 of these tags bags just to go to the teleport. Um, but you also have the guild champion that you can teleport to. These both give the give these chests with as reward, for example, the champion armor to get with a ten dollar bond or acidic justice here, and the dark fader gives the chest. Um, which can then give some dark fader armor. I will open up these chests in a second as well But basically you just teleport to zone and it costs quite a lot of tags bags as I mentioned before um, These have a 100% drop rate of the chest so you can just go ahead and tag these Basically afk and then uh, you will eventually get yourself the chest um, Which I'll open in a second so as you can see I just killed one got myself a Vader chest um, you can get yourself some mystery boxes from those anything uh, anyways one thing I forgot to mention is that you actually have a requirement before you can go ahead and kill this um, I think it is like a completionist requirement or something I am not too sure what it ex exactly is but I do know that you can just go ahead and come to kill the Dark Vader so you do have to complete some things uh, before that anyways for the champion it's your boy as you can see the guild champion um, basically will drop the chest i'll just go ahead and kill this one as well basically for the hammer uh, it is a one in one thousand chance of the chest i do believe which is quite insane it does have quite a lot of hp so i'll just finish this one then i'll go uh, get into opening up all these chests and i'll give some extra details about the things that you can do with this armor because you can actually go ahead and upgrade it uh, even though it is already pretty damn op but you can still go ahead and upgrade it to get like best in slot armor all right i just got one hit by the boss basically uh the champion can one hit you i already explained that in one of my previous videos but yeah anyways let's just go ahead and open up all these chests i don't know if they will open up automatically but let's just go ahead and see i'll have to do them manually so i'll be back in a second once i opened all of these up or once i actually managed to get a rare drop oh there we go we just got like pretty damn lucky fourth of the way in we just got ourselves vader gloves which is pretty nice oh there we go only like 200 later we got a vader element which is used to upgrade the armor i'll show that in a second as i mentioned before but um yeah that's actually pretty nice another rare reward from these chests hopefully you can get quite a few more that would be really amazing and then uh, if we could continue that look on the champion's chest as well that would be super nice all right, so here we go for the last couple of chests and um, we didn't get any more luck, unfortunately. However, as you can see, we got quite a few of these uh, insanely OP key parts, 85 full keys to be exact. 
We also got quite a few uh, other things like mystery boxes, supreme mystery boxes, all that good stuff. But anyway, it's time to move on to my 1000 champion chests right here. I think the average, uh, the regular drop rates is about the same. Oh, it's actually not. It's quite different. I didn't know that. But um, anyways, I'll open up these 1000 and hopefully I can get quite lucky on those. All right, all right. Like 100 uh, chests in, we also ju uh, just got ourselves a champion body. So um, yeah, that is actually pretty damn lucky. I... Uh, I really enjoyed that. Also, these chests are a lot nicer to open because most of the things aren't actually stackable. So yeah, that's really enjoyable. Also, just got myself a ten dollar bond from this chest. So um, yeah, don't know how rare that is, but uh, I guess I'll take it. Pretty lucky. There we go, another ten dollar bond. Um, just uh, like a few hundred chests later, still no other freaking champion piece. But um, hopefully, in the last two hundred chests, we can manage to get one. Oh, I didn't expect it would still happen in the last like 50 chests, but there we go, a champion hood, which is, uh, yeah, that's actually pretty sick, we only have like 27 left to go, so we got like pretty damn lucky, imagine we just get not, oh, oh, we actually just managed to get ourselves another piece in the last 27 chests, oh, even though there's like a sitting just this year instead of the actual champion armor, that is still freaking rare, and um, yeah, that's like two pieces in the last 50 chests, that's actually amazing, man. Anyways, the champion armor is really good, but you can still manage to upgrade this, and if you upgrade it, you actually get a 115% drop rate bonus per piece added on top of that, which is pretty amazing. Anyways, if we go to colon colon chest, or colon colon chest, my bad, we can actually upgrade that even more if we go to the research table. I'll showcase that in a second, but before we do that, I just want to check it out. As you can see, you have certain things. Uh, that you need and once you get all of that you can manage to research the item and upgrade into a better item so i'll just get out everything i need to upgrade into the best set in game right now so unfortunately i don't have the champion warhammer so i won't be able to make the saber however i do already have the vader saber i also have the vader set as you can see right there and i also have a full vader set in here as well that i'll try to upgrade you can actually cannot actually upgrade the cape my bad but um, as you can see for the saber for example you would need two of these elements together with two million of these bulging tags bags together with that you will also need a champion hammer and then you would get a vader saber for the actual helm the champions vader helm which has a 115 percent drop rate you need the champions hood plus the vader's helm plus two of these vader elements plus a million of these bulging tags bags anyways let's go ahead and do that now also let's do the body it is basically the same just another piece and then for the legs as well and now we have the full um, champion vader set which is the best set in game let me just check out the stats on these i think this will be absolutely beautiful so there we go the legs alone already have really good stats add on top of that the chest and then the helmet as well and you have the champion vader set it has an insane amount of stats as you can see if we combine that with the saber and then the defender hilt this is just freaking amazing 39.9 k strand bonus absolutely insane Anyways, that is going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely make sure to smash the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to enter the giveaway. But besides that, I will be ending off today's video. So, I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace.